Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So upcoming next Thursday, we will get the event returning the Harvester of Nightmares. You'll be able to do a whole bunch of tasks and obtain your token currency for the appointment events. You can read through their blog, but it's just, yeah. The event's beginning, it's gonna last you your three weeks. And throughout the event, you can complete your daily tasks. Again, it's only once per account only. You need to have 18,000 item level at least. You pick up the quest and then you complete it, just killing waves of enemies within an instance of Protector's Enclave. And then once you've done that, you get your reward. And it will depend on how much participation you have already done and you will get your tokens. Participation tokens to start and then challenge tokens later on with a token of achievement when you hit a particular milestone. You can read through the blog of the appointment events guide. It's a little outdated, but in terms of the amount of rewards you have, it's pretty up to date. So with the tokens of participation, you can get a maximum of 42 if you do all the quests every day, completing the additional parts as well. With the tokens of challenge, you can get a total of seven per event by doing every day again your tasks and then your token of achievement you will get on the 14th day you can only ever get one of those per event you spend all of those tokens at this vendor right here it's got some pretty decent offers participation tokens i generally get upgrade tokens for my characters there but alternatively you can get like glyphs for the challenge tokens i generally get my overloads that i need but if you don't have legendary insignias and still need to get mythic insignias here's a good place to get those for the insignia dust again you only get seven per event maximum and then the achievement tokens you'll get one per event maximum so you can spend those on these rewards i recommend potentially saving for a mythic companion here like Staldorf. you can make use of this on most classes that are damage dealers if you don't have let's say the neverwinter knight and since it's already mythic you won't have to upgrade it at all and otherwise you could save up to five of them to get portobello and he is a very good team support companion for end game right now many players will use this to give the team the buffs of 3.5 percent power and combat advantage other than that i wouldn't take the war horse i wouldn't take the balgora neither the personal tank you can get alternatives that are just cheaper than having to spend those tokens where you could get those tokens each one valuing at least a coal moat and then like getting a mythic companion is just generally superior but other than that make sure you're claiming your free items this is upon the release of module 27 if you log in for a maximum of seven days you can claim your free items from the claims valuable tab here on the home page go to promo and you should find at this point the coalescent moat just nice and free there along with the vanity choice pack since it's been seven days since module 27 has released so we can check out what those are the call mode is bound to account so you'll have to use it but you can upgrade something that's unbound and it won't change the bound status and you'll be able to sell it that is if all you want is profit but this vanity choice pack has a selection right here of the Gleister, the Simulacrum, that's pretty cool. This little dragon guy, I believe you could only get through doing the leveling and you had a chance to obtain him, or you could get him from Master Expeditions, not 100% sure. Then you can get a Koatoa here, a bit random. Lumi, you can get from Vault of Stars, she doesn't show up there when you view her like that, but I'll show her in a second. And then the Vanity, the Swift Golden lion which i believe we could already obtain potentially from the auction house from other players from some pack that gave them or you just get 20 gold lumi is gonna look like i believe i have her here there she is she just glows a little bit there and she's gonna follow you around she's she can get her to drop for you when you do vault of stars and at this point vault of stars should be a lot lot easier with all the power creep I believe I have Gleister as well. I actually have two of them, so he must come from doing your master expeditions. And he's just a little dragon there who's going to follow you around. And I don't have the vanity pet of this guy, the lion. So, yeah, anyway, 
the real life version looks like him there. But additionally, there's a module 27 like cape giveaway from Alienware. There'll be a link in the video description. This is, again is for only PC. Make sure you get a key. Again, I don't know how many will be left for you, but on EU, there is 1000 keys left. You could use a VPN and get a key here if you're, let's say, in the US where they may have run out of keys already. Usually that's the case. You click request key there and then you should get this pop up, which will give you your key like here. I'm going to use this key right away. You go to Arc Redeem, make sure you're logged into your account and you paste it here and you click Redeem and that should say success if it's a unique key. Then you can go back to your game. You'll want to like go to back to change character and then log back in. And you should be able to go to your home page, claim valuables, promo, and you should find it here. Xeraxian Aristocrats Drapery. Claiming that should give us a fancy cloak. There we go in our inventory. We can preview it, see potentially what character we want to have this on. I don't think it looks good at all. I'm just not going to use it, but we'll just click convert to appearance item. And then in our library here, we can change our cape to this one, save and wear. And then I'll just remove my shield so we can actually see that. There we go. That is the cape. Yeah. Yeah. Not a fan at all. Maybe you can make some fashion that will fit it, but uh, that's it. Yeah. Pretty underwhelming. But if you're a collector, you may just want to snag that and add it to your collection of appearance items. But I'm personally going to use the Blessed Cape from completing Zariel's Challenge Deathless on Master Mode. Has a bit of challenge to it. And so it shows somewhat that you know what you're doing. When we jump to the preview server here and check out the calendar, we can see some additions of what's upcoming up until next year. And the ones to note would be the Winter Festival on December the 14th. That's a pretty big event. You can get a lot of useful things from here, in particular some companions, mounts, preservation wards, and the whole lot. We'll cover it when the event comes around, but you generally want to have lots of characters for that. And then December the 21st, near Christmas, you will get the trade bar discount event. Hopefully we get the astral lockbox with this along with the wondrous bizarre discount. Sometimes they have just not added them to the calendar, but we shall see. Hold on to your trade bars until then. And from there, it's just Dungeon Delvers at December the 28th with, I guess, times two seals. You can make the most of Reaper's challenge during there, getting twice as many of those marks. And uh, yeah, that's about it as far as we can see. So a massive thank you again to all these channel members for their added support. I will see you guys around. Goodbye for now.